Hey guys, and welcome to Gaming News Network Speedrun. Your news, even faster. We got a few things to cover today, so let's get to it. McLeod Gaming, the developers behind Super Smash Flash, are getting an official game. Framemakers is a platform fighter featuring indie characters. It's currently on Kickstarter with the release window of 2021. IO Interactive announced their next big project is actually a James Bond game. Project 007 is going to be an origin story based around how James Bond got his title. Bethesda put out a statement explaining that Doom Eternal's Switch port is going to be digital only. Everyone who ordered a physical copy will be fully refunded and should contact their preferred retailer to get more info. Nintendo sent out a cease and desist to the big house for holding a Smash Bros. Melee tournament online. Nintendo claims the reason for this is the usage of Slippy, but for a GameCube game tournament during a pandemic, this is really the only safe way to play. Super Mario 3D All-Stars got an update. The update fixed a bunch of emulation issues as well as updated the best game to fully use the best controller. The GameCube controller is now fully compatible with Super Mario Sunshine, analog triggers and all. Animal Crossing got its long-awaited winter update. It added a bunch of new recipes, the Turkey Day and Toy Day events, new reactions, hairstyles, and way more. Grand Theft Auto Online is getting a new heist that adds an entirely new area. The new heist has players try to breach the remote island and escape with art, money, and treasure. Three costumes from Untitled Goose Game are now in Fall Guys. The team also added a new honk emote with sound effects. Now for the games that released this week. Hyrule Warriors, Age of Calamity. Hi. This has been GNN Speedrun, and now that you're all caught up, make sure you click the links below for the full sources, and I'll catch you guys next Sunday.